Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, we're visiting with Puffy today. Uh, we'll visit for two reasons. One, I just spied a fang over there. And last night, he was strutting about the cage really proud of that pile of poo that he left back there. So the first thing I will do is I will get the puff out her fang and not stick myself with it. So that's a sizable bitis fang. Certainly you would not want that impaled into your arm or hand or any place on your body. Alright, so now that we got the fang, our primary purpose <laughs> is to get the poo that he seems to be guarding and <laughs> uh, we're just going to dump it into the bucket because it is a nasty stinky bunch and I put the extra extension on the pooper scooper because this is puffy of course and oh he's very upset now you're taking my poo How well you? if you strike your poo it's on you so to speak that was quite the cow pie. Just relax, dude. This is not uh, intended to annoy you. It's just to de-stench your cage in the room here. Uh, this is being difficult. I think that's a, is that a piece of wood or is that poop? Well, it's got urate on it. Relax, dude. Yes, I know. I see you're, uh, you're in full defensive posture. Relax. It's not going to attack you. I promise. Oh, it just did. It both pooped him on the snoot. Okay. Now he's really mad. Well, I see this other pile that's uh -huh. right out here in the back. So. Okay. He's getting way too close. All right. I'm okay. I will spritz you. Back. 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 Yeah, with mist, it really got to hit him in the, with it in the full uh, yeah. stream mode, not mist mode. Yep. So that's all the fun with Puffy for right now. We'll clean up this and uh, dump the trash. Uh, here's my... There, your cage doesn't stink. <laughs> in our... A room down here wafting into uh, uh, the other room doesn't stink because the air conditioner blows right past <laughs> his cage. Um, so we're going to bag that and take that out in the trash. Uh, so that's all the fun with Puffy right now. So I will take the extension bit off. <clears throat> and save that for another uh, pile of puffy poo. Right there. All right. There you go. That was it. All right. This is uh, something we haven't done in a while because it's exceptionally uh, dangerous. Uh, is uh, clean up Mr. Brown's cage and. Uh, I want to get a picture of him uh, from the underside, from the head to the tail. Uh, for Mark O'Shea, my, my friend in the UK, uh, uh, he starred in uh, O'Shea's uh, Big Adventure, uh, which was a really good herpetology series of uh, videos. If you've ever seen them, you'll know uh, he's... Uh, uh, World renowned for being an expert in, in herpetology, written many books and papers, as well as uh, uh, an all around very nice, approachable guy. Um, so, 
Mr. Brown is from Papua New Guinea. Sudeikis, Rasanoli, some house, Sudeikis, and Sudanaja, and Acanthophis, and Oxaranus cross the strait between Australia and Papua New Guinea, or and actually ha uh, that didn't happen when the continents were together. They somehow got across the Papua New Guinea and populated it. So he studies the snakes of Papua New Guinea, compares them to snakes of Australia. Um, so he wants to see uh, count belly scoots and stuff and compare it to museum specimens. And I'm one of the few people that actually has a Sudeikis rossinoli. Uh, and he's my friend, so I'm going to try to help him out and not take a bite. So, Mr. Brown is quite the handful. Uh, uh, he's sort of like if you blow up a balloon and you let go without tying it off and it sort of flies around the room. Um, uh, that's Mr. Brown. So, uh, here we go. Uh, Wait a second. Yeah, let me have a second hook. Although, he's not going to stay on the hook. Oh, Mr. Brown. The best we can do is trick him into thinking that there's food. Mr. Brown, are you snoozing? Huh? Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's like, I know what you're doing. This is, you know, this doesn't have anything to do with food. I'm not coming out. Come on, dude. That's a good boy. Relax, relax. I promise not to hurt you. You don't hurt me. Even if you do hurt me, I will hurt you. Okay. All right. So let's put the lid on them, so to speak. Let me uh, set the hooks aside. All right, go. of it and now we're going to clean his cage so we're going to try to tube mr. Brown which is problematic all by itself um, I think for added protection and reaching in no glove is snake proof I don't care what they tell you. Um, uh, I know people who've been bitten through the hex armor gloves. They're just added protection just in case, but don't rely on them to stop the fang. I've seen, I've seen fangs go into this uh, uh, glove before, and fortunately, my finger was not nearby. So, so we're going to try to tube Mr. Brown. Hello, Mr. Brown for his little photo op. Are you gonna, you are not gonna be cooperative, are you, huh? He is just not going to be cooperative. You know, ideally you want the snake to come shooting up the walls, and they do that routinely except when you want them to. Mr. 
Graham. Yes, he is. He is quite, quite angry. All right, so I'm going to work him out and get bit, hopefully. I'm sorry I have to do this. Okay, so get the best shot. Ideally, you want to put them into a box. A clear bottom box? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put him in at this point. Sorry, Mr. Brown. Alright. That's the best I can do for Mark O'Shea. Poor Mr. Brown. He feels violated. Uh, you know, uh, I don't take my animals out and handle them as much as other people do. I just really think that it sort of freaks them out and bothers them. Mr. Brown uh, uh, just is sort of beside himself. I put in a trap box uh, so if I needed to clean his cage and he was in the trap box I could easy take care of it but he's a little bit beside himself and Normally he would be hiding under his log, not on top of what he is on top of, but yeah, he's just not, uh, not a happy camper right now. But I bet next week he eats. <laughs>